I think we probably expected a little bit more. It was a bit of a, a wake up. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. I do roll like a Mack truck, country heart. I was pretty close to winning the Zwift Academy. So I went from basically having a little bit of lack of motivation to alright, let's have every opportunity this year to give it another go. Every time you step on the bike, you always have a point to prove or especially in my case, you want to show people, you want to show people what you've got because you get so close to your dream and then it gets sort of, sort of taken away. I had, yeah, I had a point to prove and to do it here in Adelaide, you know, in front of family and friends and it's on TV, I was just Incredible. We had the crit last night. We did a really good job there. Cooper Says did a brilliant, brilliant job himself getting seventh. So stage one was on paper, it looked like sprint stage. And yeah, Benno and I were just like, yeah, yeah, today should be hard, but it won't be too bad. Which was my He just, someone just looked behind him and just went whoosh, washed out and like yeah. took out three so, And like got like oh, sideways and then someone crashed in front of him and he hit him. Yeah. Oh. Ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie. Very hot, very hot. Jeez, how wrong were we? We had a goal to be super aggressive breakaways chasing jerseys because didn't necessarily like we had a few guys for GC but we wanted to see how our first stage played out. Ben Carmen got in the move which was fantastic because he was one of our GC guys and that basically stayed away. For the rest of us yeah the heat just the way the race played out it seemed to be that we were, most of us were on the back foot weren't as fit as potentially thought but Ben yeah Ben is, Benny finished top top of the table, like um, top 10, top 15 on GC, so. I was just hanging on at the end there. Yeah, good job, man. That would be I thought that's the reason why we were getting caught, because yeah. I was geeing everyone up. I was like, come on guys, if, if we whack this, yeah. like, this, this is gonna be tour over. Yeah. But none of them wanted to, and then all of a sudden there was just like, yeah. another six guys, yeah. and then they were like, oh yeah, that, that, that's everyone. After was, <laughs> everyone sort of got their head kicked in a little bit, uh, so the vibe was down. But yeah, down but not out, because we still had two days to really show what we had. Who's got less body percent? Body ben. fat percent. You or Ben Carmen? Ben Carmen. Ben Carmen <laughs> is next level. Can I do skin fold? Hang on, skin fold. We'll get in there, Sammy. Oh, oh you can. All right, so okay. that is, I would say, 9%. Right. Still Ben Carmen. Where are yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, give me a grab. Yeah. Where are we I doing? I want to witness. witness. I want to witness. witness. <laughs> Just your oh, students. That's under nine, yeah. It's under nine, it's about one. one. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say seven, eight. That's about one percent. Boot, is a, is a, oh, yeah, no gone. chance. <laughs> no chance. Go on, I've got plenty on me. Wow, well, it's pretty oh, good. I've got Although, plenty on me. I've got flubber bubba. <laughs> oh, I've got ten. ten. There you go. Ten, I'll take that. Uh, I'll take that. Do you have a word after this, Aiden, about We definitely can, <laughs> yeah, about yeah. What's, what's the future. <laughs> you race faster. Yeah, so stage two of the Tour Down Under Festival of Cycling. 113 k's from Stirling D to Woodside. I felt pretty average at the start of yesterday's stage, so trying and gonna be a bit more aggressive today and we'll see what happens. Jersey's got away from us on stage two. Yeah, we had no one really stick their hand up to do that. And even being the fastest finisher, I thought I'd go to the front, help out, do what I could, try and rally the troops and, you know, 
get some motivation into our guys, but... Now, it's Blake Quick coming over Blake the top. Quick. Jensen Plowright trying to get there for second, but it was the fastest man, the quickest man. The provisional result is still in the wood side. Ready? See these on, mate. A little bit excited. Yeah. Well, we got mentions. Oh, how was that? We had to reassess as a team and in our team meeting we really, you know, had a firm chat. Why? What went wrong? What happened? Well, and that we need, needed to learn from those mistakes because it just wasn't good enough. Uh, we couldn't hold our hopes on just one, one guy for GC and we really needed to pull our fingers out. So going to stage three, we, yeah, had a point to prove. I like the window one, that was cool. I gave you one caffeine gel and you're freaking flying. <laughs> nice work. Thanks mate. You gonna squeeze? Oh, we'll see what happens, see what the king's capable of. Very good. Very good. So we're here at stage three of the Tour Down Under, just a classic sunny, windy day. Um, and today's 113k stage will end up Wollonga as it always does. The team is pretty motivated today after Pretty disappointing ride yesterday. Uh, we still have Benny up in GC, but uh, yeah, we, we did miss our goals yesterday, so hoping to turn it around. Obviously, it's going to be quite windy, so I, I reckon at the start I'm going to be quite aggressive and try and chase that uh, that early move. Yeah, so I haven't had any power data for the whole week this week so far, so just purely racing by feel and you know. A lot of punters think that everyone just rides to power, but it's been way more effective not to have to be look down and think, oh, I'm doing too many watts or not enough watts. So it's been a real refreshing, just ride by feel, see how you're actually going. And it's actually far nicer to not have to worry about any of that stuff. So not that I really, you know, think about the watts when I'm racing because, you know, you, you try to follow the race, but all I have on my screen is my little map to show me where I'm going and just the distance so I know where certain markers are on the road. Bonjour, yeah, yeah, bonjour. Is that it? Je m'appelle le plow. <laughs> <laughs> Start racing March 1, 1.1 in Belgium. Oh. So that'd, that. that'd, be, um, that'd be a nice little introduction, I think. It'd be exciting, it'd be yeah. good viewing today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good luck, boys. Initially, the Nero guys missed the break 10k in. Is any, is any Nero rider going across to this? Over? There was a lot of chat on the radio about, come on, who's going to make it? And eventually I've ridden through the dirt and the bushes to go around the pillow because there was a real roadblock and make that, make that break. Go on Coops, go on Coops, get across, get across, you can do it, go on. So we got there after probably 30, of racing uh, and it made a group of nine. We want to go up and feed our rider. Can we go up and feed our rider? Yes, yeah. We were just hitting the sort of tailwind cross taily se section where we were like, oh, we might not have to back off just, just a fraction because if we got too much of a gap, then you know they might start chasing, it might trigger them to chase a little bit more. So we had to tone back. Nice work, mate. Super. All right. Nice work, Coop. Sprint coming up and just confirming I just gave you the shittiest sticky bottle that has ever been given. Confirming the shittiest sticky bottle. I like. <laughs> we had to up the tempo a little bit. They had a few more people chasing. Uh, and it was Angus Lyon that was like, yeah, all right, let's uh, up the tempo a little bit, you know, giving it a little bit more. And it wasn't until about 20k to go when we still had, well, even less, maybe 20, 10 to 20k to go, still had four minutes and we were like, all right, game on now. We've, we've got a pretty good shot. I'll get my take the bottle from Got to come back to me here, mate. Can't come any closer. Nice work. See, that, and they cut across like that. You can fucking 
win this bike race. It's smart from here. It's four minutes. Yeah, and I've like nobody needed to tell me how to ride the climb because I've ridden this climb so many times. Normally, what I would do when it comes to the final end of the race is, you know, pull the earpiece out. Don't want to hear. I just want to do my thing. Some of the comments and some of the things that he was saying just like set home, like hit home. The wheels. You can do this. You can do this. Go as deep as you've ever been. Those Swift Academy. You can bloody well do this. Prove them all wrong. Come on. Come on. You know, you got away. I was here to prove a point. Here to show that I can do it as well. And that's what he was saying to me over the radio. Come on, boy. Prove those things we've wrong. It's you. Come on. It's you. You are stronger. Where to go? Come on, Cooper. Oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. Come on, Cooper. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Yes, Did he get it? Yes! Oh my god! Nice work, little Considering we almost didn't get to the break. We almost didn't make the break. He must have got fire. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't take it out because I was like, the words of wisdom are just going to get me through. <laughs> the icing on the cake was those whiffs, and I was like, fing oh, yeah. Yes, third, 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 third. Really? Yeah, third. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes! Yes! That's it, bro. That's it. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was pretty lost for words. Sort of didn't know if I got third or not, but I was pretty confident. The most iconic stage of the Tour Down Under. A field of pros, like racing up the hill behind you. Um, it was just, it was daunting. But to pull it off was amazing. Oh, they rode like absolute machines. Like, I I have no excuses for the results. They did everything right. And um, yeah, like, it was, today was perfect. It was just, it was just fun and gnarly, you know, like knowing you know, Ivan and I were just riding the crossway and just honestly just really putting ourselves in places that we shouldn't and we shouldn't. Yeah, still it took a, it took a while to sink in after, yeah, after that. That was awesome. Did everything we could at the end there for uh, Ben and then he just basically went up and did his thing. Every time you step on the bike, you always have a point to prove or especially in my case, you want to show people, you want to show people what you've got because you get so close to your dream and then it gets sort of, sort of taken away. I had, yeah, I had a point to prove and to do it here in Adelaide, you know, in front of family and friends and it's on TV, it was just incredible, it was so cool. So many people were out there screaming your name and it was just really, really cool. So it means a lot that I could do it here in Adelaide, yeah, in front of friends and family.